This will be a complete guide where I'm gonna teach you how to design and sell various watch faces on a Google Play Store without a single line of code. Here is how you do it. You first design watch face elements inside a Figma. Then you insert those same design files in a watch face studio and you create a watch face. And then you export the files and upload that on a Google Play Store. As simple as that. So first, uh, we're gonna start with the design. And uh, here in Figma, I have already prepared uh, one uh, simple design for the demonstration purpose. You can use uh, basic uh, Figma tools and shapes like uh, circles, uh, rectangles, uh, polygons, etc. You don't need uh, some great design skills, by the way. And you can also find a, a good inspiration uh, out there on the internet. So basically, you need to create uh, multiple elements and uh, stack them uh, on top of each other. Here in the Layers panel, you can see that uh, on the bottom I have placed the text that uh, displays uh, hours and minutes. Then, on top of that, we have this little yellow shadow, which will dynamically rotate since uh, it's gonna be tied to a seconds value inside the watch face. Next, uh, on top of that, we also have those uh, fixed uh, ticks that I have already designed. You can use uh, some basic shapes like a polygon to create them, so it's quite easy. Anyhow, after you create uh, multiple ticks on uh, each and every side, you need to place them around, and at the end, you need to also group them into one group, since it's gonna be easier to export it as a single layer. After that, we have a shadow hour indicator and a yellow hour indicator, which uh, is placed uh, on top of that. So both of them will dynamically rotate based on the hour value inside the watch face. On top of those uh, two indicators, we also have the center point and the battery on the right side, but now we don't have to add this battery since we can choose an already made component for that inside the watch studio. Perfect. Now let's select uh, all those layers except the battery and the hour and the minute uh, elements and uh, export them as a PNG or a JPEG. So now you might be wondering, uh, what about the font? How can we add a, a custom font inside the watch face? Well, we can add a custom font as a bitmap font, which basically means that we need to export a, a custom font numbers from a 0 to 9. Here I have also prepared a, a custom font as a vector for each number. You can use a, a text tool here to create a number and then press the shortcut uh, Ctrl E to convert the font into a vector. And you can see that uh, I have added some uh, spacing around uh, each number here, because if you don't do that, when you add those numbers inside the watch face, then they will become uh, quite close to one another and there will be no any spacing around them. The only way to add the spacing between numbers is to add that spacing before exporting them from Figma. Great. So now after we have exported uh, all those uh, necessary assets, we can proceed next and uh, obtain a development environment for building watch faces. A uh, Samsung uh, has developed a watch face studio that you can download for free. It's uh, really intuitive and uh, has a user-friendly interface. Quite simple and uh, easy to use, which uh, you will see shortly. After you download and install this uh, software, this is what you're going to see after launching it. You can choose uh, from uh, one of the sample projects or you can start your project from scratch. Let's do it from scratch. Give a name to your project and uh, choose the watch face size. I'm gonna leave it to a default. So, here is the user interface. On the left side we can see a layers panel, where uh, all design elements uh, should be visible. Then on the right side we have a properties panel, where we can customize a bunch of different things. We have a run panel here besides to preview the watch face itself. On the top we have some uh, useful tools that are unique for our watch faces. And on the bottom we have a timeline. The timeline is uh, used for previewing the watch face itself. So, first, I'm gonna add here a, a digital clock to display hours and minutes. When you select this uh, component, you will see hours, minutes and seconds. To change those values, you can modify uh, something that's called a tag. You can change the tags in the properties panel to customize uh, what kind of uh, information you want to see. You can also read more about the uh, tags on this documentation here as well. But basically, tags are used to get the reference of a certain values from the watch OS. 
and in this case to match our design we can add the two of those elements one for the hour value and the other one for the minutes value hours value will be placed on the top while the minutes value on the bottom you can also customize the font family or you can add a custom font as a bitmap to add a custom font, we're gonna choose a bitmap font option and for each number load one of those PNG files that we have exported from Figma. So for each number you need to load an image. And we can also specify the font size here for our custom font. So after you add all those PNG files for all numbers, you can now reuse those same font bitmap files for other text elements here in this project. The new font should be immediately applied on other different uh, values, if you of course select the bitmap font option. Next, I will also change here the opacity of those uh, two layers and set their value to 10%. Perfect. After that, we need to add a yellow shadow, so let's click this uh, plus icon on the top and uh, choose uh, analog hands minutes. So we can move the timeline handle down below and uh, inside the preview you will be able to see the change of the hour minutes value as well as the rotation of that uh, shadow uh, layer as well. Since we have tied the shadow to a minutes value it uh, will be rotating uh, 60 times per hour. Which uh, is uh, slowly but still good looking. You can also update that and set the uh, seconds instead of the minutes if you want to see the rotation faster. Great. Next, we need to add those uh, fixed uh, ticks. For that, just select here the image tool and uh, add it on the screen. After that, we need an hour indicator shadow, so let's select the analog hand hour and uh, choose the file that we have already exported. Then, let's add the yellow indicator as well, so just choose the analog hands hour as well. Great. And finally, add the center point on the top of those uh, two indicators. We can now try and place those uh, two indicators uh, properly on this watch face. However, if you try to move the timeline, you will notice that uh, those indicators are rotating from their uh, center point. Which is a default behavior. So, we need to update uh, its uh, pivot point. So just select this layer and uh, drag this little circle that you can see on the center. So now just uh, move that little uh, circle down below to be somewhere on the center of that uh, center point. Take your time until you properly modify the pivot points of those two layers and then preview them on the timeline. I have made this uh, center point uh, to be fixed but we could also use an analog hand hour for that layer as well. So just remove this uh, previous uh, center point layer and uh, add a new one, only this time choose the analog hand hour so that uh, this layer can also rotate along with those uh, two indicators. The last uh, thing we need to add here the battery indicator. So for the battery we can choose a, a circle complication slot from the menu. This complication slot consists of uh, multiple elements and we can change its uh, structure from the properties panel. I'm gonna choose here a, a circle indicator with an icon on the center. After that, we can choose a provider to decide what kind of uh, information we want to display here. In this case, I will choose a battery, but you can try out other ones as well. Also, you can reduce its size, change its position, and uh, add a custom color as well. Perfect. So that's how this uh, simple watch face uh, will look like. The last uh, thing we can also preview to see how this uh, watch face will look like when uh, always on mode is uh, active. Always on means that the user is not actively interacting with the watch itself, so uh, it's something like a, a hibernation mode. We need to make sure to remove uh, unnecessary elements from this uh, mode and uh, make it more uh, battery efficient. Since it's gonna be active all the time, we can disable some of the layers and uh, leave only the important ones, like uh, hours and minutes. So, uh, before you publish the watch face on a Play Store, uh, you should get familiar with uh, general guidelines. You should use a black color as your primary color, because uh, smart watches uh, have a limited battery life.
their uh, lifespan is small and we should try to do everything to make uh, our watch face uh, as efficient as possible to optimize the battery life. You should avoid uh, adding a big resolution graphics as it takes a higher computational power to render them on the screen, which is leading to a higher battery consumption. I also suggest you taking a look at the documentation to learn more about it. So, uh, when it comes to the exporting and uh, publishing your app, it's uh, quite easy to uh, publish it actually. So you need to make sure that you already have a Play Console account, because uh, there you would create a new application like uh, you would with uh, any other Android application. Then from the Watch Face Studio, you can click the Publish button on the top right corner. If this is the first time, you need to create the key store and uh, keep it safe somewhere. So don't forget the password you created with it, or otherwise you wouldn't be able to update the application afterwards. You should also try to update the label text since uh, it's gonna be visible when a user long presses on your watch face. And after you fill in uh, other information here in this form, then click the button and uh, wait until the AAB file is uh, generated. Then afterwards, you can create an account uh, or actually the application on a Play Store and uh, upload your watch face. There are also a couple of important things here to note when uh, publishing a watch face. You should publish it first as a, an internal testing, and after you add uh, all the proper information, images, description, etc., only then you can promote it to the production release. Also, when adding a description to this application, you need to make sure to include a text that says this application is for a Wear OS, or otherwise they may refuse or reject your release. Then open up the advanced uh, settings from the setup, and in the Form uh, Factors uh, tab, you need to create a Wear OS form factor. Also, when adding a tag to this application, be sure to include a watch face tag. By the way, if you wish to test your uh, watch face, you can create the Wear OS uh, emulator in your Android Studio, and then you can pair that uh, Wear OS with your uh, Android emulator device. So you can just open up a device manager, and then on your actual device you can click uh, Pair Wearable. And then just uh, follow the procedure, and uh, you will be able to connect uh, your uh, Android emulator device with a Wear OS device. So there you go, that's how easy it is to create and publish a watch face on a Play Store. Comment down below and let me know if you have tried publishing a watch face before, and what's your overall experience. Also, don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.